good morning students recently we are dealing with the chapter the sun earth moon light and shadow in the previous class we learned about earth sun moon and light today we will be going to learn a new phenomenon that is evident in our solar system in the previous class we learned that the earth revolves around the sun in a path called orbit and the moon also revolves around the earth and this results in a phenomena known as eclipses so what is an eclipse an eclipse occurs when one object in the space blocks an observer from seeing another object so what happens is that it is a phenomenon in which one object blocks our vision in observing another object in the solar system eclipses exist when the sun earth and the moon are in one straight line that is during the revolving processes when the sun moon and earth comes in a straight line a phenomenon known as eclipses occur there are two types of eclipses the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse they are classified on the relative positioning of the sun moon and the earth that is the eclipses are classified into two that is solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse based on the positioning of the sun the moon and the earth first let's see what a solar eclipse is we learned that the earth revolves around the sun and the moon revolves around the earth once a month the moon comes directly between the earth and the sun that is the moon comes in between the earth and the sun on such a day that is the day in which the moon comes directly between the earth and the sun on such a day we face the dark side of the moon and the moon is not visible in the night sky for us this condition is known as the new moon new moon is the condition in which we are unable to observe the moon in the night sky sometimes on these new moon days the sun moon and the earth lie in a straight line that is on a new moon day when the sun moon and the earth lies in a straight line that is the moon lies between the sun and the earth in a solar eclipse on such a day the moon blocks the sunlight from reaching certain regions of the earth that is when the moon comes in between the sun and the earth the moon blocks the sunlight from reaching certain regions of the earth and in these regions the sun appears covered and this phenomenon is known as the solar eclipse and it lasts for a very few seconds it is of two types the total solar eclipse and the partial solar eclipse let's discuss once again so in a solar eclipse the moon lies between the earth and the sun and it occurs in a situation when the moon is not visible the condition is known as new moon and the solar eclipses last for a very few seconds and it can be total and partial solar eclipse now let's know what a total solar eclipse is a total solar eclipse occurs when the sun gets completely blocked by the moon so in a total solar eclipse the sun is completely covered by the moon and it lasts for a very few minutes in a region and it happens once every one and a half years so in a total solar eclipse the sun gets completely blocked by the sun and it occurs for a very few seconds now let's study what a partial solar eclipse is in a partial solar eclipse the sun is not completely blocked by the moon we learned that in a total solar eclipse the sun is completely blocked by the moon while in a partial solar eclipse the sun is not completely blocked by the moon and in these cases a part of the sun is visible that is in a partial solar eclipse the sun is partly visible to humans so we learned what a solar eclipse is and the two types of solar eclipses that is the total solar eclipse and the partial solar eclipse now let's study the second type of eclipse that is the lunar eclipse so what is a lunar eclipse on a full moon night that is when the moon is visible as a complete disk when we look in the night sky we are able to see a complete disk of the moon on such a full moon night the earth passes between the sun and the moon that is the earth lies in between the sun and the moon so on such a night the earth blocks the sunlight falling on the moon so when the earth lies between the sun and the moon the earth blocks the sunlight falling on the moon and the moon gets covered by the earth shadow so when the earth comes in between the sun and the moon the earth blocks the sunlight falling on the moon and the moon gets covered by the earth shadow 
and this phenomenon is known as the lunar eclipse. So when such a phenomenon occurs, the moon does not look bright, rather it appears as a reddish disk. So on a lunar eclipse, the earth lies between the sun and the moon and the moon appears reddish. It is also of two types, the partial and total and it lasts for a very few hours and it can be viewed with the naked eye. Let's see what a lunar eclipse is once more. So on a lunar eclipse, the earth lies between the sun and the moon and it occurs in a condition of full moon. That is, the moon is completely visible as a circular disk. On such a case, the moon appears reddish in color. It lasts for a very few hours and it can be viewed with naked eyes. Now we have learned about eclipses and the two types of eclipse that is the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse. Now let's compare the two types of eclipses. First the solar eclipse. It occurs at daytime and the moon lies in between the earth and the sun. It occurs on a new moon day. The lunar eclipse. It occurs in night time and the earth lies between the sun and the moon and it occurs in a day called full moon day. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon moves between the earth and the sun, blocks the sun's light and casts a shadow on the earth. When the moon completely covers the bright disk of the sun, that's a total solar eclipse and it happens roughly every year and a half somewhere on earth. A partial solar eclipse is more common, happening at least twice a year. A lunar eclipse on the other hand is where the moon moves behind the earth so it's now the Earth blocking the Sun's light on the Moon, creating a shadow on it with a red tint. The easy way to remember the difference is to remember what gets darker. With the solar eclipse, the Sun gets darker, and during a lunar eclipse, the Moon does. A solar eclipse is a rare event that not many get to see, because the Moon's shadow is relatively small. This limits the locations on Earth that get to see it. You have to be on the sunny side of the planet, and you have to be in the path of the moon's shadow. So, if you find your area in the path of totality one year, you've hit the jackpot, because on average, that same spot on Earth will only get to see a solar eclipse every 375 years. During a solar eclipse, the moon casts a shadow with two parts, the umbra and penumbra. The moon's umbra is part of the moon's shadow where the entire sun is blocked by the moon. In space, it's a cone extending some 400,000 kilometers behind the moon. It's when the small end of this cone hits the Earth that we experience a total solar eclipse. Most eclipse maps depicting the path will show you a circle representing the shadow of the moon, but in actuality, the true shape of the umbra is more like an irregular polygon with slightly curved edges. This is because the moon isn't a perfect circle. It has mountains and valleys on its surface, which all affect the passing sunlight and subsequent shape of its shadow. And scientists now have a greater understanding of the shape of the moon's surface, thanks to NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. The unprecedented level of detail from the topographic maps, photos, and other datasets has allowed us to more precisely pinpoint the regions on Earth falling within the path of totality of a solar eclipse. So, if you get the chance to witness a solar eclipse, Always remember that our little moon plays a role that's quite large. Like clockwork, the full moon appears every month in our sky, a sight so familiar that we often take it for granted. But about twice a year, over the course of a few hours, the full moon sports a decidedly different look. What causes this sudden change? A lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes through the Earth's shadow just as a solar eclipse occurs when part of the Earth passes through the moon's shadow. But the moon circles the Earth every month as it cycles through its phases, lining up at both full moon and new moon. So why don't eclipses happen twice a month? The reason is that the moon's orbit around the Earth is tilted relative to the Earth's orbit around the Sun. Although the Earth and the moon always cast long shadows, they rarely shade each other thanks to the moon's orbital tilt. But if that's the case, why do eclipses happen at all? Throughout the year, the moon's orbital tilt remains fixed with respect to the stars, meaning that it changes with respect to the sun. About twice a year, this puts the moon in just the right position to pass through the Earth's shadow, causing a lunar eclipse. As the moon passes into the central part of the Earth's shadow, called the umbra, it darkens dramatically. 
Once it's entirely within the umbra, the moon appears a dim red due to sunlight scattered through the Earth's atmosphere. In fact, if you watched the eclipse from the surface of the moon, you'd see the sun set behind the entire Earth, bathing you in a warm red glow. Back home, you'll have to stay up late to watch a lunar eclipse, but if you do, you'll see the moon in rare form, and you'll catch a brief glimpse of our own planet's long shadow. So that was all about today's topic. Today we learned about the phenomenon eclipses and the two types of eclipses that is the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse. I hope the topic was clear to you. Have a great day. Thank you.